repair law. So we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. Lenovo Yoga i7 uh, 10 Gen. C740. Okay, let's uh, check the customer email. So the customer is saying he came across to my YouTube channel. He's seen like a previous repair video. And he said has the exactly the same symptoms. One start on. I try both USB C ports, try with different charger, and also I try to disconnect the battery. So the customer tried a few things. Could you look at this? Yeah, we can uh, nick. First, let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. Just to know from uh, where we are starting. So plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on and it's switching off. Yeah. The other port coming on, switching off. So we can't really see what's going on there. Coming on, switching off uh, can be a dead uh, PD controller or actually can be, you know, like something shorter, like the main power rail or the EC chip. Now, let me quickly open the laptop. Maybe we can help this customer. Maybe. And the laptop is open. That's a nice, small, sexy motherboard. You have the CPU here. Small fans. I mean, the customer said he disconnect the battery, but also you have to disconnect the BIOS battery, or you can disconnect this ribbon cable. It will be the same thing. Now, I don't think a frozen EC chip can cause this kind of uh, behavior. So I will say, before we are moving forward, let's check the main power rail to see if it's shorted. So the main power rail, where we can check that? We have a bunch of capacitors here. Let's see. No short, here is ground. So the main power rail is not shorted. Okay, on this point, let's disconnect uh, the BIOS battery. BIOS battery is disconnected. Good. Plugging back the BIOS battery, plugging back the normal battery. Let's plug the charger again. Plug in the charger and still doing exactly the same thing. So nothing changed. Okay, let's check the battery voltage. Yeah. So the battery voltage is two volts. Hmm? Uh, we cannot diagnose the laptop with the uh, with USB-C because it's keep restarting. So I will say let's charge this battery. 11.5, that's mean 12.4 fully charged. Let me lower the current. Yeah, a lot of current there. Good. So the voltage. Good. And we are charging the battery with 1.5 amps. We can raise the current to 3 amps. So the battery is charging fine. The battery is good. EC chip is okay. Yeah, nothing is getting hot. Good. So we charge the battery a little bit. Plug in the charger and it's still restarting. No, it's not restarting anymore. We have 19 volts, we have 2.4 amps. Wait, what? I mean, the laptop was, was dead because the, the battery voltage was uh, too low. Huh? Just tell me. How this is possible in 2024? I mean, how they are thinking the design, you know, they're like, okay, let's make, uh, you know, this board to have some redundancy. I mean, if the battery is dead, let's let the laptop work. Now, the other, uh, the other charging port, 
Yeah, the meter is coming on. 19 volts, 2.3 amps. I can see a light here flashing. We have picture. We have picture, but why we don't have? Oh yeah, it is hard drive security. You know what? The customer gave me the password. It was on a piece of paper. Just give me one second. Yeah, and the laptop, it's working. Check that, it's loading the windows. <sighs> what we are doing. It is possible it is possible default to come back? Yeah, it is possible. I mean if the customer is not using the laptop. Or maybe he used the laptop, but you know, this is my idea, what happened. Actually, here was like a corrupted EC chip, corrupted BIOS. The customer didn't disconnect the, the BIOS battery. And, uh, you know, the board is still taking power from the battery, even if it's not working. You have an EC chip, which is always on. So the EC chip discharged the battery. For some reason, the battery... Uh, didn't got disconnected by the power management board, which is, that's what is supposed to happen. I mean, okay, here we have like, what, like three cells, lithium is supposed to disconnect the cells at 10.8 volts. So why we had two volts here? It's nothing what I can do. I mean, I cannot change the manufacturer design. The battery, it is genuine. So, because the AC chip was corrupted uh, and the battery didn't disconnect the cells, the voltage of the battery got down to like 2 volts. The customer disconnected the battery, but he didn't disconnect the BIOS battery. Probably it will make no difference because the battery voltage was too low. And probably the laptop is not designed to charge a battery such low, like 2 volts. Yeah, and the laptop is working fine. I shut down the, the laptop. Let's check the battery voltage. The battery is 11.8 and uh, should goes up. Yeah, it is going up. Check that. You can see the battery voltage is going up, so it's charging fine. It's taking 1.7 amps. So the thing is, I didn't fix anything. And uh, I cannot prevent this happen again. I mean, what you will do on this case? How you will prevent something like that? You know what is pissing me off? I mean, we see in manufacturer, they accept their laptop is dodgy and can freeze. And they put like a switch and a hole on the back cover. But this one has no hole. That's mean if your laptop uh, EC chip is getting uh, corrupted, yeah, it's freezing, it's nothing else you can do. You can't push and reset the, the EC chip. So there are manufacturers, they accept that they have an issue, yeah, and the system can, can freeze. So they accept, okay, we have a problem, let's uh, let the user to reset the board. And there are, there are, there are manufacturers like Lenovo and say, no, 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 cannot happen on our laptop, no. Our uh, EC chip, it cannot freeze. <laughs> Which, of course, you know, it's, uh, it's just a lie. Anyway, the lessons to learn is if you see like a dead laptop not charging you know completely dead uh try to follow these steps i mean we check the main power is not shorted it was not charging disconnect the battery disconnect the bios battery then uh plug back bios battery the battery then check the battery voltage yeah and if the battery voltage is too low, like like i said on the beginning i cannot diagnose the laptop we no power on it so you need some power in order to check some voltages and uh, check some things. That's why I seen this is not working. I came with current onto the battery. So try to charge the battery. The battery is getting charged in current. The, the voltage is not even important. And when I'm saying it's not important, like we try with 13 volts. Okay, let's see. We setting up 19 volts. Yeah. Let me lower the current. I mean, it's not even point lowering the current. I mean, 3 amps is fine. So I'm coming with 19 volts on a 11 volts battery, yeah? So check on the screen. When you have a current limit, like my case, I have 3 amps current limit, the voltage gets dropped to battery voltage. So check, the voltage is like 12.3, you can see. 
So it's, it's, it's nothing what can go wrong when you are trying to charge the battery. If I take the probe, I have 19.5. The battery is getting charged in current, yeah, with a current limit. Plug in the charger, it's working fine. I seen the fan spinning. Why the fan was spinning? Why the laptop is, is no one? I seen the fan spinning. Let's check the, the BIOS battery voltage, one second. Because I don't feel that's normal. Ah, oh, 0.3 volts on the BIOS battery. I can't believe it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, it's making sense. So possible that's why the... It is possible. That's why the AC chip got corrupted. Uh... Yeah, you see this, you have to keep in mind this, check the BIOS battery. I mean, I didn't expect on a laptop, this is like a new one, you know, like 10 gen. Uh, the BIOS battery to be already dead. You know what, there's no voltage on the BIOS battery, nothing, check that, nothing. I think 0 0.3 was from uh, actually the, yeah, yeah, it's from the, actually from the, the connector. So the BIOS battery is dead. Can I replace it? Yes, of course. We have brand new BIOS batteries here. So, yeah. so let me find a brand new BIOS battery. Yeah, look here. Look here, a brand new BIOS battery, but it's not the same connector. Maybe I have a different one. I'm pretty sure I have a different one. Okay. Let me try to find another one. Okay, you know what? I don't have another BIOS battery. I mean, I have it, but I can't find it. So, yeah, we have to use what uh, what we have. Uh, I'm thinking... I mean, I can, cut the, I can cut the wires and connect the... We can connect the... Yeah, let me check under the microscope. Nah, it's okay, you know, same distance, same everything. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. So we have the battery connector. Let me see plus and minus. So this is the original battery and plus is on this side. And my battery is this one. Yeah, it's perfect. Check that. Let me check the voltage. So the voltage on the plus is check on the screen, check on the screen. Yeah, 2.9 volts, you can see. So the BIOS battery is perfect. Now, just to be sure everything will be fine, I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, hot glue. Just to be sure this is not moving. Yeah, perfect. Mm? So what do you think? It's a good repair or not? What you said? This this battery is smaller compared with this one? You know, no one told you actually the size doesn't matter? No, it'll do the same job, it has 3 volts. Uh -huh. Perfect. How can I stick this battery here? We have a sticker here. Yeah, so we can use this sticky thing here. Perfect, it's like brand new. Yeah, it is. You can't even notice, you know, it's actually not the not original one. One more time, the battery voltage is 2.9 volts. Perfect. Let me plug the charger now. Plug in the charger. Taking 1.7 amps. Yeah, the fans are not spinning because we didn't unplug that battery. Yeah. Let me power on the laptop. Uh, the power button is here. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. You can see the, the keyboard backlight. 
and it's asking for uh, for the SSD password. That's fine. Power off. All good. Charging fine. Everything fine. But it's interesting how this battery died. I mean, you know, like what? 10 gen? Like four years and four years? Would be like three years. How this battery died in three years? The battery solder and now has like 0 0.2 volts. Can we charge the battery? Of course we can. Of course we can charge. If you are dodgy, you can charge the battery without replacing. A minus plus. And yeah, it's taking no current. And that's normal. I'm going to raise the voltage a little bit. Yeah, like 6 volts. Let's see if the battery is taking uh, power. And now the voltage on the battery is... Yeah, check there, 2.5 volts. Yeah, it's like brand new. We can sell this battery as brand new. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Uh, hopefully, you know, you got some points, what to check, what to... You know, I, I didn't even think to check the bio. It's just, you know. Uh, usually I don't check the bus batteries because we have the big battery here. If you have the big battery, the bus battery doesn't matter. So if you have the bus battery here, actually the voltage is supplied by the battery, not by the bus battery. The bus battery is meant to supply voltage only when you have no power here. And you have no power here when the voltage goes under 10.8 volts. So again, I don't understand how this battery got uh, to zero volts. But yeah. Thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, like usual. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.